Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is Friday, <coughs> February 21st of 2020. It's uh, almost 10 p.m. I just saw this story on CNN. Most Americans will need a new ID to fly starting in October. I did a video on this about four months ago, I think, and uh, it's had 80 views is all, had four thumbs up. I have a feeling that people probably thought it was uh, clickbait or something like that, but uh, this is this video, I'll put a link to it below. Um, but let's go to the CNN story now. Uh, you think your driver's license is enough to get you through airport security in the United States and onto your domestic flight? Maybe not. <clears throat> Some two-thirds of U.S. state driver's licenses are not compliant with a post-9-11 security law that was put into effect on October, that's going to go into effect on October 1st. And I, if I remember correct, um, I checked my driver's, well, I don't have a driver's license. I checked my state ID, and I don't believe it was compliant. But if you watch my video, or I'm sure this one here, or when not, you know, or you read this, it tells you, and I forget now what it was, you have to go look at your United States driver's license. Don't even know where my billfold is. And I think you look for a star, I believe it is, um, on the and uh, on the ID. Uh, my ID, because of my age, I got a, my driver's license expired when I came here from Florida. And so I got a state ID that doesn't expire but I forget if I can send it I forget what I had to do in order to uh, now a lot of people are going to you know say well I'm not going to be flying you know I'm not going to be flying but it also applies to get into and I believe federal buildings and all all types of places uh, the federal you know the uh, United States government, after the 9-11 attack, found that uh, those uh, people who hijacked the aircraft or whatever easily got in some states. I think Florida was one of them. But it was easy for them to get, uh, you know, driver's licenses. And so the federal government passed a law that all driver's licenses had to you had, you had to meet the following requirements in order to get them, and uh, had to be a certain way and whatever. And then everything had to be compliant by October first. So anyway, I will um, put the link below to mine. I'll put the link, of course, to this. And oh, I was going to say, you know, I don't. Uh, I'm in pretty bad health now, which uh, I was in excellent health all my life until age about 65, then bang, and things have progressively gotten worse for me. But, uh, you know, you may think that uh, you're not you're not going to fly, you know, or, well, of course, you're going to get into, need to get into, fed, you know, different places, believe me. Um, but if you think, well, you're not going to fly, you don't know. You may go to the doctor and uh, be checked or whatever, and the doctor might say, okay, well, you know, you need to go to Meninger Clinic or Mayo Clinic or something for, a, a, you know, for an operation or for a checkup or something, and you need to, you know, fly there and it'd be kind of bad to get to the airport and not so 
Anyway, check this out. Well, maybe should I wait? Let's uh, let's go down and see if there's uh, see if it tells me because I can't remember now. Starting October 1st, travelers must have a real ID compliant driver's license, U.S. passport, or U.S. military ID or other acceptable identifications to fly within the United States. Um, the real ID compliant state driver's license requires provided uh, that documentation was provided to full legal name true date of birth, social security number, two proofs of address or principal residence, lawful status. Um, if you cannot produce acceptable identification, your U.S. Travelers Transportation Security Checkpoint will not clear you for the flight. Uh, While many states have issued compliant documents for years, travelers couldn't assume that their driver's licenses or other documents met the requirement. For example, Georgia, Georgia became compliant in 2012, California in 2018. Check if your state driver's license or ID is real ID compliant. Okay, simply by looking for a star in the upper right-hand corner. So that's the thing. Then mine doesn't have one. Going to need to get that taken care of. Anyway, I'm hoping the audio is working on this video because in the last video, the uh, microphone on the, I've got two Logitech cameras both going the uh, microphone on the uh, C920 or C930, whatever it is, was the one working. And it's, uh, I hope the correct one is working now. Uh, what else? I'm using um, Linux now. I don't use Windows anymore. Um, let me go to CNN's front page. That's something I always, let me go here. Probably silly of me, but if somebody's watching a video, and I've got videos that go back here to 2005 on, on YouTube, uh, I think this gives you a little bit of an idea if you're watching a video and you see this, you're going to see, oh, okay, that's what was going on when Jim, you know, made his video. Because I get, I, feel, I get a few comments, like some video that I made you know, years and years ago, and they'll, people will think, like, I just made it. And they'll, they'll say, well, such and such, you know. So this is when this video was made. Anyway, I'm going to put links uh, please, if you can, use my links to my Amazon. Very few of you are using them. But if you use my Amazon links and you go to Amazon and you purchase something, I will get, uh, well, let me do that. Let me uh, go to Amazon and show you what I am talking about. If uh, Okay, am I logged in? No, I'm not logged in. Sign in. Okay. Okay, earn. How do I know you're not clicking and using my... And all you have to do, you don't have to purchase an item that I talk about or I put a link below. All you have to do is go using my link. And then if you purchase something while you're there... I will get, so here is my, well, let's look at the payment history. Uh, this month, at the end of the month, they pay at the end of the month, I will be getting $40.90 from Amazon. 
the last month I got nothing. You have to have ten dollars at least to the month before I got nothing. Uh, now the month before that, that was in November of 2019, I got twenty six dollars and forty nine cents. Now here it is at the end of February, I'm going to get forty dollars and ninety cents. You know, really, if I've got almost three thousand subscribers. Uh, if X number of you were to use it. And then let me again remind you that I set this up to make it easier. You can just type Jim Howard dot me. I think me is the one, is it? I think I have both of them, I think. Yes, that takes you, then you're there, and uh, and that's a secure link, by the way, you know, HTTPS or whatever. So then if you buy anything, so please try to do that if you can. But if you're in the United States, uh, take care of this. This is going to be, you know, going to the airport is... Uh, is a son of a bitch and you just do not want to have something come up an emergency you know a family illness someplace that you have to go to or uh, a death in the family or you know your something that you need you go to the airport and they refuse to let you you know fly that you know it's bad enough the uh, procedures now and uh, so anyway please if the United States please check out your ID please check out your driver's license or in my case a uh, state ID thank you very much for watching